So I'm smoking <coughs> some Full Aroma Scandinavic imported Danish pipe tobacco from Orlick, courtesy of my friend down in California. Something I would never probably smoke myself. A little dried out. Not very interesting to begin with, <laughs> which is kind of why he sent me these mixtures. Because uh, uh, he was not too thrilled with them. But it's fun to try something new. This is uh, Burley Ack. And Virginia's uh, mature Virginia tobaccos are blended with toasted Burley tobaccos. The blend is pressed in cakes that are left to age before cutting. So, so what am I smoking? That's what we really want to know here. Looking at it, you'd say it was a jam or a custom build. Can't really. The sun's a little weird here, but. Nice little pipe. This is uh, a BP jam. Let me get my fat hands out of the way here. This will be fairly unsatisfactory, sorry. <laughs> but you can see it's a similar style of pipe. And then this is the custom built that was in that other video a few vids ago comparing the jum and the custom built and the rustication, I mean, carved on the same day by the same guy. You know, I mean, it's so similar. So this is similar, but not the same. And it is a yellow bowl. So these were produced by who? I don't know. Uh, anyway, uh, oftentimes, you know, their claim to fame was uh, the yellow bowl, which was kind of this honey treatment inside the bowl, supposedly designed to encourage cake. Gimmick! But, um, a nice little pipe and it has a sort of custom built ish rustication and so that's what this video is going to be about is all the variations on custom builds um, if <laughs> it's amazing what an influence custom built apparently was in the 50s and 60s to other pipe makers and the pipe smoking public I presume so Yellow Bowl is just one of the knockoffs. And it's nicely done. Um, no screwed in tenon, no, you know, stupid details like that. But I haven't seen many of these. So, not that it makes it valuable or anything, it just is unusual. So this one Remember, custom built jum, actually jum custom built field stub. Now, field stub pipes, uh, stubby pipe for the field, I guess. Uh, it has a few fills in it, that nice pink putty. And it's a smooth, which is a little unusual. But you can see it's very much the same kind of shape and style. And field stubs, apparently, I should check uh, the books down in the house. I'm up in the guest house here. Uh, were from the custom built factory. So that's been acknowledged. So that really is uh, right there in the custom built camp. Here's one. Similar, but different. The rustication is uh, still, it has the gouging with the router bit, kind of. Uh, but it's different. It just really feels different than the custom built, for instance. See, it's side by side, they are actually quite different. But, again, a similar style. So this one is a Pembroke. 
So, you know, an unknown pipe name. <laughs> All good smokers. Once you clean them up and open them up to 530 seconds, that makes the difference. This is kind of, I've always disliked this sort of combined, rusticated, left, smooth. It looks like a wart or something to me. But if it had been all rusticated, I, I would have liked it a lot better. This is a Arlington, another lesser brand from that same era. Similar shape. I guess you'd call that a scoop. And this uh, has a little more detailing on it. In good shape. This has sort of similar detailing. Up here, those two ridges or uh, cutouts. I'm not sure what you would call that exactly. But this is uh, much more of a custom built type rustication. And this one is a Mayfair. Really? A Mayfair? I never had heard of a Mayfair before. I found these pipes on eBay. So, the rustication though, mm, now we're getting somebody either worked at the custom built factory or they were made at the custom built factory. And maybe were seconds? I don't know. The, uh, I mean, it's, it looks like the same kind of equipment was used unlike some of these others. But this one uh, had a crack, which actually doesn't detract from the, uh, the pipe. It's uh, a shallow crack right there. So I got it for really cheap. I think less than 10 bucks. Again, a good smoker. With the caveat that these shallow bold, slightly, you know, full width, uh, bowls, I just don't think combust as well as a taller billiard. So, this has a little more, uh, it has the two lines up here, and it's just, it's sort of a rusticated bowl that then they did a little routering out. This is a Moore Mark, M-O-O-R-E-M-A-R-K. And there are a few, I've seen a few of these on eBay, all kinds of different shapes. Um, again, it's not really custom built. It's a little broad up here for being like a custom built. But it's very similar to this one, which is a Tom Howard. And there are quite a few Tom Howard pipes out there. He was a, a radio personality. Uh, again, it's got a little bit of the routered rustication, but then not nearly as much, and it's quite different than a custom built, even though it recalls a custom built. Kind of a saucer, in fact. Uh, I find Tom Howard's to be a little over the top and a little overstyled for me, but that's just me. And they're big pipes, especially for the time. They were often, you know, just really chunky pipes. So this one is smooth. Again, with the two lines up here, it's been uh, damaged, probably by tapping, you know, to get rid of the pipe dottle or just the ashes. The doddle. I always think of doddle as being the schmutz inside the shank, the wet stuff. But uh, so it's it's certainly not in perfect shape at all. But it is very similar again in shape and style. So these pipes are all similar, and yet they have their own personality. You know what's remarkable to me is that items from the 1950s, which are now going on, depending on when in the 50s, but uh, like they could be 65 years old, you know. Wow. <laughs> um, they're in good shape and 
they're durable. I mean, they'll last, honestly, probably forever. So, uh, it's neat. It's really a neat thing. Uh, this pipe smoking thing is, and I'm singing to the choir here, it is remarkable to me, you know? Cigarette smokers do not have the same affinity for their cigarettes or other items. Uh, <laughs> Yet pipe smokers uh, will pass down this stuff, keep it in great shape. Obviously a uh, appreciated possession, well taken care of. So, uh, yeah, it's just pretty neat. So this is not, this is hardly a collection, you know. It's, it's just uh, random pipes I've picked up over the years. And I just have a, an affinity for the shape. And so um, when I'd see one, and it was quite inexpensive, I'd, I'd bid on it. and Sometimes get it, sometimes not. And you end up with a little herd of similar to custom-built pipes.